hello friends welcome to my channel in my previous lecture i discussed about the collapse lead in case of simply supported beam having a point load at the middle of the beam so today i will discuss about the problem having simply sub uh, having point load but in this case lo the load will not act at the mid point of this beam so now I am showing this problem. What will be the problem? So, suppose this simply supported beam. This is a simply supported beam having a point load acting at a distance. Suppose uh, I am nomenclaturing this uh, A and B. Okay. Um, so, uh, suppose this load is acting from A distance from A and B distance from B. So, in and it's uh, having the moment capacity mu okay so today i will discuss how to find out the collapse load for these cases okay so this distance is here this distance if this beam deflects or collapse so the shape of the beam will be in this way and it will produce an angle alpha here and angle beta here okay and beta here this angle will be beta this angle will be alpha and this uh, similarly this angle will also be alpha and this angle will also be beta and it will deflect delta amount of delta okay so i we know that if we want to find out the collapse load for this case so first of all we have to find out the uh, external work done as well as internal work done okay and we have to equate these two what is external external work done external work done equals to internal work done internal work done okay so if we equate this two so we will get the value of collapse load for this case okay so first of all i have to discuss the external work done so we know that external work done is nothing but it is the multiplication of load applied to the deflection okay so external work done will be external work done equals to how much p u into delta okay this is the number one equation so now internal work done internal work done here as the moment capacity of this beam is mu so here plastic things will form just only here it's the elastic here, here will forms elastic things here will also form elastic things okay so plastic things will form here so internal work done will be mu moment into angle okay it will deflects by angle of alpha that's why mu into alpha plus mu into beta mu into beta this is number two equation so as this alpha and beta are unknown so i have to replace it i have to replace it and we have to equate this equation this two equation and after that we have we will find out the value of pu so now from here we know that alpha equals to from here we uh, can write alpha equals so we can find out yeah we can write here alpha equals to delta by a okay delta by a okay alpha equals to delta by a and from here we can write beta equals to what delta by b okay so here delta equals to a into alpha and here also delta equals to b into beta here okay so 
so in the number two in this uh, equation number two a mu into alpha plus a mu into beta r so we can write it alpha equals to delta by a so a mu into alpha equals to how much delta by a and plus a mu a mu into beta equals to how much delta by b okay delta b so i have to equate this equation that is the this is the number two equation modified number two equation okay and i have to equate it equate this equal this okay one and two okay so what will be the value of the collapse load pu into delta equals to mu into delta by a plus mu into delta by b so it will be delta mu by a plus mu by b okay and pu into delta now delta delta gets cancel out so pu will be equals to mu by a plus mu by b it will be the value of the collapse load okay friends so thank you guys in my next lecture i will show how to find out the collapse load in case of uniformly distributed load on simply supported beam as well as UVL on simply supported beam. Okay, thank you guys.